A terror attack that's killed more than a dozen people in Spain. And Donald Trump's reaction to deadly violence in the US. I think there's blame on both sides, and I have no doubt about it. Events in the past few days have left investors feeling uncertain and shaken markets around the world. And with stock markets lower, Wall Street's volatility index jumped more than 30% on Thursday. Also called VIX, the index is known as the gauge of fear. Created in the early 90s and operated by the Chicago Board Options Exchange, it tracks America's main stock index, the S&P 500, 30 days in the future and usually moves inversely to equities. Investors use it to hedge against the risk of volatility affecting stock markets. It hit an all-time high of 80.86 points in November 2008 during the global financial crisis. Other notable spikes include August 1998, when hedge fund long-term capital management lost almost $5 billion in less than four months following the Russian financial crisis. And in August 2011, after Standard & Poor's downgraded the US credit rating. Thursday's surge coincided with a nearly 300-point fall in the Dow Jones Industrial Average, showing that investors are worried about President Trump's crumbling business agenda after all three of his business councils fell apart. Rumours about economic adviser Gary Cohen's resignation have made things even worse. Cohen is essential to Trump's economic agenda, particularly tax reform and rebuilding infrastructure, topics Wall Street loves and which helped fuel Trump's election campaign. But the business-friendly president who campaigned to run the US like a CEO has markets now worried more than before. Denise Savoya, TRT World. Joining us now is TRT World <coughs> editor-at-large Craig Capitas. Craig, the volatility index, uh, as we've seen, has reacted to previous seismic economic events, the subprime collapse being one of those. This recent movement, while it's not the biggest jump historically, is certainly significant. VIX, uh, let's put this in what VIX is in, in pop culture terms. This indicates the power of the dark side of the force. VIX is a reaction to catastrophic economic events. It uses algorithms and other stuff to gauge the consequences of those events. Economic. VIX in this instance has charted a reaction to a cataclysmic moral failure on the part of the President of the United States. And it's charted out the economic cascade effect of the Trump presidency over the next 30 days and into the future. This is the first time I've seen VIX operate that way. Let's put this in street terms. The moment this VIX report came out, the professional bookies at Paddy Power in London gave six to four that Donald Trump doesn't last as president of the United States until the end of the year. These are, this is a powerful indicator. Craig, U.S. President Donald Trump has now removed his chief strategist, Steve Bannon. Just what's going on? Well, the, uh, Bannon's departure is cause for nothing but a bout of irrational exuberance because uh, Trump is Bannon. Bannon was there as one of his enablers. Uh, that enabler is now gone. He doesn't need Steve Bannon. Donald Trump is Steve Bannon. Trump's words over the past few days speak for themselves. You know, he's all, today he's lost uh, the entire Commission on Arts and Humanities, the President's Commission on Arts and Humanities. He's also lost uh, the President's Digital Economy Board. They're, they're all quitting. Uh, he's pushed away business leaders, the, the public, political leaders, even in his own party. And now we have uh, FBI, former FBI Director Mueller's investigation, the connection between Russia and Trump's cronies uh, and business holdings. So uh, this whole presidency is going down fast. And the question is, somebody, please call me. Where's the potential for Donald Trump to survive this? And let's just look at some of these uh, utterances he's made recently. He's continued commenting on attacks on monuments, even referencing some questionable events surrounding one, let me get this right, General John J. Pershing in the <laughs> aftermath of the Spain terror attack. <laughs> Instead of crisis control, he appears to be continuing on the same trajectory. Many are continuing to make clear, as we are seeing, they want to distance themselves from brand Trump. How can all this possibly continue? Uh, 
it's hard to it, it it's hard to see how it can continue. You know, Wall Street for years has known that Donald Trump is a flimflam man. He's been deceitful his entire life. He paints the most disastrous things he does as evidence of his own brilliance, and he's going to and he's going to blame his eventual departure on anyone he can. So uh, I, I, again, I don't see how this can continue. The people we're talking to on Wall Street say they can't see how this presidency can, can continue.